Yo, it's your boy, man, and somebody, I don't know if they're going to watch this video or not, but this is basically a video on astrology, and the name of this video is going to be called, um, what do you call it, it's going to be called Sympathetic Magic, and what is Sympathetic Magic? Sympathetic Magic is basically where people use what you call uh, the, the planets, as you can see here, I hope you can see, man. I hope you guys can see. They use the planets to, what do you call it, to manifest the reality that they want. So, for example, right, I hope you can see, right, there's the sun, the moon, uh, what do you call it, Mars, uh, Mercury, Venus, Jupiter, Saturn, not in any specific order, you know, and then you got here your your Pluto, your Pluto, different types of Plutos, your different types of um, of Uranus, and then your your Neptune. So let's 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 tackle what these things mean, right? What these things mean. So so the Sun is seen as masculine energy. It is seen as masculine energy. The moon is seen as feminine energy. Mars is seen as your drive, your, your basic fundamental idea of self. Mercury thinking, communication, transactions, trade, basic technology, basic science, elementary stuff. Venus, love, socializing, um, emotive communication, art, high culture, knowledge, sophistication, refinement, femininity sometimes, Jupiter, wisdom, knowledge, expansion, big business travel, long distance travel, um, those types of things, re religion slash spirituality, Saturn, restriction, knowledge, maturity, karma, time, balance, in the sense of, 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 of materialism and spirituality. I know a lot of people are gonna are gonna beef with me here, but when you when 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 you study Saturn, the positive aspects of Saturn, not just the negative, karma, punishment, binding, breaking curses, and stuff like that, it actually it's a great planet to use for for spirituality. A lot of spiritual systems use it. Here you got different types of 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 Pluto energy. Got the old school symbol of Pluto, you know, um, breaking free from from things of that rebirth here social social cultural rebirth right here uh, uranus right personal liberation right um group liberation sophisticated stable liberation right then you got uh neptune neptune is basically um what you call it it is uh, spiritual transcendence, psychology, the subconscious mind, entertainment, con artists, illusions, delusions, spirituality, the occult, things of that nature, right? Then here we got we got the planets, right? We got the planets, right? We got I mean not the planets, my bad, my bad. We got here the what you call it. The, the 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 star signs all of the star signs we got the star signs here and the star signs are used at what's called correspondence so each star sign is in charge of something and if you notice the way i organize them is the the polarities you know the polarities right so aries rules the basic self like basic consciousness this is like basic materialism and basic employment uh, how you communicate and relate with others and the self, home life, things of that nature, self-expression, you know, self-expression, indulgence, how are you disciplined, you know, health, healing, uh, high consciousness. This is where things start to get interesting, as you say, involution, evolution, right? Uh, here is high consciousness, art, philosophy, not, not, not necessarily philosophy but high art luxury you know what i'm saying knowledge as well because the air sign transformation uh doing the dirty stuff that needs to be done to get the results 
also money and power and sex, but it also has other positive things. Then Jupiter, knowledge, wisdom, expansion, things of that nature, Saturn building, structures, order, um, success, professional success, stability, things of that nature, individuality, group love, um, what else? Innovation, technology, here, spirituality, illusions, delusions, creativity, transcending reality, addiction sometimes. So, so the person asked, right, because the question was like, why do they love using Geminis? Let's go back here, Geminis. They love using Geminis in the mainstream media, right? They do what's called sympathetic magic, right? All the days of the week are actually based off this if you notice sunday monday tuesday wednesday uh thursday uh friday saturday okay they're actually uh, not roman what's it norse gods the days of the week are named after these planets so what they do is that they do sympathetic magic so on a monday they might do moon things. So the, what did we say? The moon rules femininity, the subconscious mind, empathy, kindness, the home. Because that's the moon is correlated to cancer. Right? So the reason they use Gemini is because Gemini is Hermes, Mercury. Right? Mercury is about being shifty, clever, smart, you know, deceiving people. You know, sometimes deceiving people, Right? That's why they love the Gemini, the Kanye Wests, and the people like that. Very easy to deceive the masses. Remember this, from 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 Aries to to Virgo, that's involution, meaning you know starting from nothing and and making it you know something, right? But when we get here from Libra to like. Uh, Pisces is all about evolution. Once you've built this foundation that's strong, then what? Then what comes next? You feel me? So that's basically what this stuff is about. You know what I'm saying? That's basically that's what this stuff is about. Uh I hope you know you guys can properly see this type of thing. You know what I'm saying? I hope you can see it properly. But yeah, man, that is the main reason. If you want me to break it down even more. Then I can in how to use these energies for yourself and things of that nature. So basically, yeah, that's what it is, guys. That's what it is. Really like analyze these symbols because these symbols are metaphors for the subconscious mind and the conscious mind and things of that nature. So yeah, I check you guys on the flip side. I'm out, motherfuckers.